tribe so we're doing an update on the decks that i use on this channel guys i'm gonna run through these decks really quickly and maybe some of you will like some of them and you'll decide to get it yourself so i want to take a minute to thank you guys who are supporting this channel and a lot of these decks that you see in front of me are actually gifted so let's start with the first deck the smallest one what i like about this deck is that it's quite small so you could take it on trips you could maybe take it even to a cafe or a bar because it doesn't look like a tarot deck it's based on watercolor i do think that the letters could be a bit smaller so your eye could focus on the drawing more than anything else i truly like the um, artistry of this deck and it's really beautiful to look at and it's also really comfortable so you know guys when you travel sometimes with your tarot decks doesn't it feel like you literally carrying wood <laughs> so this could be quite beneficial for you guys i like the nine of swords a lot in this deck all right let's move on the next deck that we have is one of my favorites thank you tasha by the way thank you ella Mm, super Lunaris and what I like about this deck is the quality the texture of it it's um it seems like this deck will last me forever because of the quality of it again the colors are really beautiful I do like the design I like the texture I like mixed media here in this deck it truly takes you places when you look at the imagery of this deck I think a lot of you guys have been asking me, asking me about this Super Lunaris deck and I think you would enjoy having one. Look at the Hermit. Super peaceful. And the edges are shiny. And I do like the color combination in this deck too. Right, the next deck, thank you Candy. <laughs> is the in-between tarot and I haven't used it I think I'm gonna use it maybe in the next video for you all guys what I like about this deck we do have a correlation of the next um, upcoming card so it reflects the fool's journey so we have the fool and then we have the magician as the next card so these are the majors now let's take a look at the beginning of the minor arcana it's portrayed like a story let's take a look so we're starting with the ace of cups over here right and then this is going to be a story of this person of this character in cups so it's quite beautiful to look at it you know this person will go through ups and downs there's gonna be i like the meaning of five of cups here when you look at this person's face you can see and you can tell quite a lot now let's take a look at the um, meaning of this card in a booklet even though we know all the meanings already but i like how it's explained here where is the cups where's the cups okay so this goes the five of cups and on the corner we have the six of cups right so five and six of cups numbness and you can see that in this person's face and then six and the seven of cups says choice of another path let's go to pentacles we starting with a choice of some sorts right an opportunity of a choice and then boom there is a whole story of this woman going through ups and downs in this deck it's quite beautiful and unique as well so if this deck vibes with you, get it because it's, um, I do believe that for, especially those people who are new to tarot, this could be quite an easy deck to read from. Then Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I also like the texture of it. It's not as thick um, as Super Lunaris. I'd say it's quite similar to the in-between tarot, but the cards are a bit bigger. And you probably guys have seen the Game of Thrones 
tarot being used quite a lot on different channels. I do love the Ace of Cups in this deck. But yeah, it's a, it's a also a really beautiful deck. I truly like it. You know, I like the King of Spears here because it has a different vibe from a regular King of Spears that we'd see, right? You wouldn't expect to see the King of Spears in this mood. I do see him as, you know, he took a break from his endeavors to kind of think things through. Yeah, so that's the Game of Thrones. Now, the next deck I have gotten ages ago, but I've been waiting for it for maybe five or six months. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk about this a bit because I think that's important. I don't have any sexual tarot decks at all. Because I tend not to focus on that, but I think sometimes it's fun to have a deck connected to sexuality somehow. But if I had to describe this deck, this is the cocaine tarot, I'd say um, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, literally, and money. <laughs> okay, that's how this deck is. Now, I do know that a lot of people who have uh, purchased the deck had quite a lot of pub, uh, problems with the publishing house. I do believe they did have issues. It was at the time of Corona. Also, the font of a deck that I've received didn't match the picture. So that's something to consider, guys. Okay. I think I've used this deck maybe once on my channel when one pile there was something quite sexual in one pile and i found it working really well but the artwork and the colors i like that the most here in this deck not so much the font <laughs> and the quality isn't the best i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know you know if the quality isn't the best it's just a fun deck to have on the side i guess and let's continue. We do have the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Now this deck, I read completely differently than any other deck. I don't need a lot of cards. It's quite shiny to tell the story. So every card is quite powerful here. There's a lot of symbolism. There's a lot that you can pick up only by looking at the imagery of this deck. Take a look at this. It's a really good deck if you wanted to channel more than anything and say if you can't channel straight away, if you needed an imagery of some sorts to get you going, this could be a good deck, I believe. I love the four of pentacles here. See, he's trying to hold the structure together. Even though he, he's cracking already, right? His skin is cracked. So take a look at this deck. It's truly beautiful. I hope that someone has found their next favorite deck. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.